I know we've been talking a lot about these assessment changes that mostly relate to oil and gas companies' property tax assessment in rural areas. And a lot of our colleagues uh, who are on the municipal councils in these uh, municipal districts and counties and so on have really been sounding the alarm about how their revenue is really going to go down should this happen. But the interesting thing about this is if this happens, the province's revenue will also go down on the education property tax. And so assuming that they want to make that up, that means that the education property tax on residents, on residents across the province will go up significantly. And it means particularly that in the big cities, you'll see a very large provincial tax increase on your property tax bill. That's the province, not the city. I'm not sure if uh, anyone has really fully understood that yet. Uh, we now know where um, private clients Did you not already know that? No. Oh, no. I thought you knew that. I thought that committee had decided that. that so I can tell you about that. Just, yeah, Ah, okay. No, it was not political at all. Um, basically, we had to do one quadrant, and just based on where the landfill sites are and where the routes are, that the northwest slash west end of the city made the most sense because in other places it was hard to carve it out because the routes tended to cross boundaries. And, uh, but that's not going to be important. That's correct. Um, we're just at the very beginning of a very complicated process. Um, and remember, it's 25% of the black heart collection only. So it's actually not as big as you might imagine. That sounds like a big number. But we believe that's 15-ish trucks. Uh, and we're taking a very thoughtful approach to this to say, let's see what the market has to say first. Let's see if there's real cost savings. If there are, we'll go forward and do that. And then we'll spend some time examining that and seeing if it works before we make a decision on whether to increase it or not. So that that, that is a years long process. Does that mean, given the size of it, you just outlined, that means you may get more than just big multinational companies, for instance? It's quite possible. You know, one of the things that I've been pushing for a lot is that whenever we do requests for proposals, whenever we're go out there purchasing goods and services, I wanna make sure that we have the most number of people competing for those as possible. And if we can actually do that with locally owned businesses, even better. Uh, that's right. They'll have to make a capital investment probably. Um, and so you'd have to make sure that a company had the financing in place in order to buy a small fleet of these trucks themselves, the financial wherewithal to do the maintenance, the ability to hire people. But you know, if you're an entrepreneur and you think you can put all that together, please respond. Mr. Mayor, I know it's not being discussed till later, but uh, the mask report uh, that has come back, the 89% significant amount of Calgarians, is your initial thoughts and when you saw those numbers uh, uh, in that report? You know, I think what's really worked well is when you look at the new infections and cases, when we made that move in July, the trajectory was very high. We were doubling cases every week. And that doubling number and that transmission number has gone down significantly. Now we would expect the numbers to go up as you're opening up the economy a little bit more, particularly as you're opening schools more, those numbers are gonna go up. But we have to remember that this is what we do to continue to flatten the curve as long as possible. Some folks have said to me, well, we flattened the curve, why do we need to keep working? Because it'll bounce right back up. And so we need to ensure that to keep ourselves from going into another lockdown, we're doing common sense things to keep that curve flat and to keep the healthcare system from being overwhelmed. I'm very pleased to see the huge, vast, vast majority of people are complying with the bylaws, uh, are wearing masks uh, in public, on transit, uh, and in stores. And we will continue to enforce that bylaw. No, no changes recommended today, though, correct? No. Okay.